So you're thinking about coming to the UK and you're worried about tax, especially residency tax. What should you watch out for? Well, check out this video because Louise and I will talk about that very subject. So, any Phillips ask? Uh, so, Phillips is a client of ours, funny enough, in uh, Dutch. So, he's Dutch, not not. Just move on. What's the question? Any any non dom ideas? Oh, like we it. spoke to someone today, didn't we, about this? Um, I think non dom meaning non domicile, just in case. Well, I know in this particular case, he's moved from Netherlands to this country. Oh, okay, so he's in here. So it's okay. the role reversal. Okay. So there's two t- aspects you've got to think about, and I know that this has been answered in in a way from from Lynette, but the, there's the kind of thing that you can uh, there's things something called the remittance basis. So if you're in the UK, and and, and Phil, maybe it might be worth you watching the um, the HK to UK. I appreciate you're not coming from. Yeah, you know, Hong Kong, but we are it's going to be dealing. Yeah, I am. It's a great show. It's a great show. I've never even done it yet, but I just know it's really good. Um, so the HK to UK might be a good thing because we are talking about com- people coming into their country for the first time. So we will be covering a lot of this. But the, the, what what I would say to anyone moving to the UK is think about things like the remittance basis or being worldwide tax. What do I mean by that? It is possible for you to say, well, actually, do you know what? My my income in my host country, I don't want that to be taxed in the UK. Um, so I'll be just taxed on the UK income by the UK government. But you don't get your personal allowance, which is the 125570. Yeah. Um, so that's personal allowance you don't get. But actually, it could be tax advantageous for you to do that. However... After, is it five years? I've completely, I don't even know now. The remittance basis charge. So uh, it's, um, if you've been resident five years in the last seven, yeah. then it kicks in. Then it's... If 30,000, 50,000, well, yeah, it's, it's Yeah. It's high, basically, whatever. And you look at it. Yeah. I mean, for most of our clients, when they get to this country and we say, oh, you've been here so many years, then we often say to them, well, just be taxed on your worldwide income because... The, the remittance basis, sorry, the remittance charge that HMRC give you is far in excess than saying, actually, I want to shield my foreign income. Yeah. You may as well be taxed on your worldwide income in some ways. And most likely you're going to have this uh, tax treaty between your country and the UK. So you're going to get a tax credit of whatever tax yeah. you've paid. So it might I'm not be as bad. talking complete rubbish to you now. And I'm so sorry if we are. If it's relevant to you, do some more research, book a tax call with us, we'll happily go through your situation. Please be note that we have a couple of events that we think you should register. The first one is the Property Expert panel. And on that panel member list, we have a mortgage broker, a property mentor, a tax advisor, which you would have guessed it is us, the NRLA, LMPG and a surveyor. So make sure that you ask your property investment and your property development questions to our panel members on the first Monday of every month. The link will be appearing below this video. Make sure you also list for the Property and Business Tax Live Q&A with Louise Mishevich and Simon Mishevich, the co-owners of Optimize Accountants. You can ask them any question you would like live on our stream and that is on the third Monday of every month. Again, the link will be appearing below this video.